Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup using over $2,000 worth of fucking makeup. Now to me, this is crazy that there are actually makeup products and beauty products out there that cost up to like you can be wearing $2,000 of makeup on your face. I think that is absolutely crazy. I'm really excited to do this because I do love a lot of drugstore makeup, but I also lo love a lot of high-end makeup as well. So I'm keen to see what this is going to look like. And I also have a little bit of fake tan on for a change. So y'all have been like coming for me saying, where's your fake tan gone? Like I just got over it for a very, very, very long time. And for those asking, no, it wasn't about the fucking meme. If anything, that meme grew me on YouTube. So thank you. <laughs> that meme was made out of hate, but it grew me. So thank you. Without any further ado, let's get straight into this video. I'm so excited. And if you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a massive thumbs up. And if you have any video requests, leave them down below. So starting off with brows, I'm going to be taking the Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. And I'm just going to start putting this through, through my brow. So I'm more or less just filling in the natural shape. Yes. And lately I've been like, I mean, not lately for the past, like six months I've been absolutely loving like non Instagram brows, like kind of more like natural looking brows. Obviously just doing exactly the same on this brow. Is that Binti? Bin, come here. Up. Oh, do you want to say hello at the start of the video? This is Bindi, everyone. For those who don't know who Bindi is, this is my best friend Shani's dog. And I'm literally obsessed with her. Everyone thinks that she's my dog, but she's actually not my dog. I wish she was, though. She's so cute. Aren't you Bindi? Bindi, what have you done? <laughs> I don't think she likes the lights in here. She gets scared of them because her eyes just go, like, really closed. Say goodbye to everyone on the camera. Say bye. Yeah, not a problem. See you, Ben. So next, I'm going to be taking the Benefit Gimme Brow through my brows. So what this does is it basically just, like, tints the hairs and makes them a little bit more intense. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. And, yeah, I'm just going to brush my hairs upwards. Kink, kink, kink. Cool. Now I'm going to be taking the Benefit 3D Brow Tones. And this just kind of, like, to be completely honest with you, I don't actually know what it does. But I'm just going to put it through my brows. I think it gives, like, a little bit of color, like, a little bit of a lighter color. I don't know. The more the merrier in the brows, in my opinion. Just bulk them up, make them bushy as fuck, and move on to the next thing. And lastly, I'm going to be taking the Ready, Set, Brow by Benefit. And just literally just, like, stay, 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 stay. Yes, they're looking bushy AF, and I'm loving it. Okay, now that my brows are all done, let's move on to my eyes. And for my eye base today, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the shade Fair Neutral. Fave concealer ever. So I'm just going to conceal under my brow first. Just a little bit Instagrammy, not too much, you know. I'm then just going to be taking that concealer all over my lid. So we have like this flawless base going on, which is exactly what we need for our shadow. I'm just blending this out with a damp beauty blender. This is the best way to do what I feel. I'm just gonna take a little bit of translucent powder and just set my lids with that translucent delucent. Perfect. Managed to get concealer all under my eyes, but I do that every single video. Not a problem. Now for my eyeshadow today, I'm gonna be using two different palettes. These are both from Natasha Denona. Now these are ridiculously expensive. This one here is 365 and this one is $221. Not a fucking problem. So these are the colors in this one here and these are the colors in this one here. So they're gorgeous colors, but I mean, are they worth how much they are? I don't know. Let's have a gaze, shall we, Ben? First color I'm gonna go into is this one just here. It's like a transition-y sort of shade. And I'm just gonna pop that in my outer crease and blend up. Now they're quite pigmented. And they're blending very well. And I've literally only just started applying this. So I think it's gonna be good. Now this camera that I'm using right now, I don't actually have my camera. So I'm using a different one and I can't, it doesn't zoom in. So this is the best I can do. So I'm sorry for that. But the eyes aren't gonna be that extravagante. They're blending out so well and they're so pigmented as well, which is amazing. Now that I've laid down that transition color, I'm going to go into this dark brown shade here and I'm not going to do a warm tone. I kind of want to do a cool tone sort of look with maybe a bit of burgundy and like a bit of this, bit of that. I don't know what's going to happen. It's just going to happen. <gasps> oh my God. Hey, Ben. Benny, come here. Hey, do you think I should do a green like smoky eye or a burgundy smoky eye? Green? Okay. I think so too. So I'm just going to continue on and put this brown in my outer V. Just going to kind of bring it up through. 
Oh, it's just so annoying. I always have this one patch on my eye that just never sticks to fucking eyeshadow and it literally does my fucking nothing. I'm just gonna blend out those edges of the brown. There's no fucking black in this eyeshadow palette. It's definitely not worth the amount of money that it is. I honestly think every single eyeshadow palette needs to have a black in it. Like, what the fuck? You need to make these looks versatile. Wait until I come out with an eyeshadow palette one day. That's literally gonna be every single color in there, in the world that you need, plus a black, a really gorgeous black. I'm just gonna blend it out with a bit more of that transitiony color. Actually, I'm gonna change from doing a green to like a burgundy. So I'm just gonna take this shade in the middle here, and I'm just gonna go to town on my outer V. Okay, maybe not because it's literally not showing up. Maybe we'll try this burgundy at the top. But that color just did not do anything. And this one is literally just falling off. Are you actually fucking serious? No go. What sort of fucking eyeshadows do that? Just literally fall off and just don't even, like... So, sis, like, don't even fucking bother going on my fucking lid because I'm not even going to fucking need you in the end anyway. Not a problem. So instead, I'm going to take this shimmery color right here just on this little cute brush. These eyeshadows are such a weird fucking formula. I just don't understand. And I'm just going to pack this. This is like fucking chalk. Are you actually serious right now? Like, it's literally just flaking off into literally nothing. I mean, like, yeah, it's pigmented, but fuck, it's chalky as shit and it's flaky. Oh my God, and it's so chunky. I mean, like, I love Natasha Denona. Like, the, her foundation is amazing, but this eyeshadow palette just is really not the greatest. I'm just gonna blend around the edge. I do know Natasha just came out with a new eyeshadow palette and um, it's like gorge colors. Maybe the formula's changed or like it's better because this is a little bit cocked. So I was expecting to do the most dramatic gorge eye look with this palette, but honestly, I just can't. I'm just gonna take some of this shade up here on my finger and just apply it straight to my, my eyelid. Cause that other color was so boring. Like that applies so much better. Maybe it was the brush, but still like, it's not very beneficial to fucking use your finger with eyeshadows only because what if you're doing it on clients? You're not going to jab your fucking finger in their eye, you know. Okay, guys, moving on to the face. This is a moisturizer. This is the Medic 8C Terra Vitamin C Day Cream. This is $135. So I'm just going to go ahead and rub this into my skin. It smells good. Not a problem. Moving on to primer. This is the Grelane Primer. And I think you say it like, it's... Laor, Laor, I don't fucking know. Anyway, it's got like real gold flakes in it or some shit. So it should be gorge. This is a $97 primer. So I'm only going to use a little bit because it's not mine, you know, and I just want to, it smells that good. Mm, that's stunning. At least little gold flakes all over your skin, which is gorge. Can't really give you a first impressions on that one because you just never know if primers actually work or not, but it feels good and it's, I've got little gold flakes all over my skin. So I'm not sure if you meant to take them off or leave them on, but I'm gonna leave them on. Moving on to foundation. This is the La Prière, La Prière, I don't fucking know how to say it, foundation. This is worth $275. I mean, like what? The La Mer one that I bought a few months ago was $200. This is $275. This is like taking it to a whole new level. But I think there is a lot of pro do it to it in here. So should be fine. So it comes on a little spatula thing. Not very beneficial. Now I am tanned at the moment, hence why it's quite dark. I'm going to take my beauty blender and see what this foundation does. I mean, like what? Like it sits really well on the skin, but I would love to know what the fuck made this brand charge $275. It's literally just the name. I feel like it's the name that you're paying for. I mean, it looks like it would be full coverage when you're putting it on, but it's honestly like light to medium, nowhere near full. I don't think it's meant to be full coverage though. It fucking should be though. It looks really glowy and pretty on the skin, but it's just not making the cut. $275, I mean, come on now. I'm just gonna take this foundation just like around my brows, just so they're nice and concealed, you know? Now moving on to my under eye concealer, I'm gonna be taking the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer in the shade Light. And I'm just gonna go to town under these eyes. Bit on my nose, bit there, and a bit there. Now I'm gonna just blend this out and see how it goes for coverage. I mean, like the coverage isn't the best, but like it's something, you know what I mean? I feel like it concealed, but it didn't conceal 
like as well as I want it to. So you guys can only guess what I'm gonna do. Ta-da! Not a problem. Just put a little bit of me tart shaped diddly squat tape. One of there. And a bit there. This is just gonna brighten it up a little bit and just add a little bit more concealer and highlight it a little bit because the concealer that I just used was literally the same shade as my found diddly dation. That's better. It's just giving me a little bit more like um, a highlighted sort of effect. However, my skin does look really nice and glowy and like nice and I'm really loving this so far. Now, moving on to set my under eyes, I'm going to be taking the La, I'm just going to give up on how to fucking say it, La Prieri, whatever, Switzerland bullshit historical wank translucent powder. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to use this to bake underneath my under eyes. Huh, that doesn't look very translucent to me. If this brings off color and gets rid of my highlight, on my under eyes. I'm gonna email their customer service. So I'm just gonna dip in and just set on my under eyes. Trans fucking lucent, I don't think so, Bindi. What? I'm also just gonna set the areas where I put the concealer as well. Okay, I don't really know what to think of this. It's very different to powders that I normally use. But I mean, like, whatever. To set the rest of my foundation today, I'm gonna be using this compact powder foundation from Chanel. So bougie, not a problem. So I'm gonna just take that and just lightly tap over the other areas of the face where it needs to be set. I'm also just wiping off that under eye bake as I go, because I do not like the look of it. Okay, so I'm looking extremely matte right now, which I'm loving. Moving on to contour, this is the Marc Jacobs Mirage Filter Contouring and Highlighting Palette. Absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna take this sort of cool tone shade here. It looks very cool tone, so I don't know how I'm gonna go. I mean, like what? That is so cool toned. I think that's too cool toned for me. Okay, so I'm not gonna use that. Instead, I'm just gonna take the Dark Chocolate Soleil Deep Tan Matte Bronzer, and hopefully this is a bit better. Oh, fuck. Why'd that go so patchy? Just blend it out. Oh my God, I'm too scared to use this. Just generously contouring around my forehead to try and bring it in a little bit because it is so abnormally large. To be completely honest with you, I think my forehead literally looks like an airport, an international airport. Cause that's how fucking big it is. Not a problem. Okay, I'm just gonna finish contouring slightly. Don't forget to contour around your jawline just a little bit. Or a lot if you felt like me cute back. Okay, so I wasn't all that impressed with the um, Marc Jacobs contour. I think it's just too cool tone for me right now. You know, if I wasn't tanned, I think it would be fine, but not today, Satan, not today. Now moving on to actual bronzer, I'm gonna be taking one of my favorite bronzers. This is the Marc Jacobs Tantric Omega bronzer and I'm literally obsessed with it. So I'm just gonna take my fave a bronzing brush at the moment. This is the Morphe R7. Abs done and just go to town. And I want to look really orange and like really overboard contoured today. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I just love this bronzer so much. It's that good. Not a problem. It's all in my hair. Oh my God, this bronzer is everything. If you're looking for a high-end bronzer that is absolutely stunning, go to Sephora and get your hands on this shit. If it's in stock, it's literally always out of stock. So if it is out of stock, go on their website and they will email you when it is back in. I'm just gonna run that bronzer down the side of my nose too because it literally got lost. I never thought I'd say that my nose actually got lost because it is literally the size of the Himalayan. What even is the Himalayas? I know it's big, but is it like a forest or some shit? Or is it an animal? Okay, now that I'm looking contoured and bronzed, I'm gonna be taking this Natasha Denona blush. This is the Sheer Peachy Nude Blush Trio. And I'm gonna take this color on this side here. Just on, oh my God, it's so powdery. This is so nice. It's kind of got like a luminosity, like glow to it. Oh my God, this is so pretty. I'm just gonna blush it. I'm just gonna brush it backwards towards my temp dads up here. Now guys, let's finish off my eyes. So I wanna kinda do something quirky and a little bit different to what I normally do. I'm gonna take this palette by Juvia's Place here. It's called the Masquerade Palette. And I'm pretty sure I want to do like pink and purple smoke under my eyes because I always do the same shit and you guys always call me out for it. And I know you're allowed to call me out for it because I know you get sick of it, of me doing it. So I'm going to take this pinky shade here called Zobo, which is Abstan. And I'm just going to go literally straight underneath my lash line. 
That is stunning. It's so pink and pigmented. Okay, that'd be looking a hot mess. I need to blend this shit out. I'm gonna take a little bit of this warm brown shade back from the Natasha Denona palette. And see if I can blend it down without messing it up too much. Oh, I like this. Literally no idea what I just created, but I'm just gonna do the other eye and then we'll get started on the lashes, mascara, all that shit. Okay guys, moving on to mascara. I'm just gonna be taking the Benefit Roller Lash because these are literally my favorite. One of my favorites. I've got several favorite mascaras. You guys know the drill. Now for my lashes today, I'm gonna be using Huda Beauty Audrey. These retail for $68 in Australia. Oh, so I'm gonna take a little bit of the House of Lashes Clear Lash Glue just on the band of that. This looks so good. I'm just gonna let this one dry off. I'm just gonna pop the other one on and then I'll be RB and we'll finish everything off. Okay guys, now that both of my lashes are on, let's do highlighter. So I'm just gonna spritz my face with a little bit of Fix Plus first. And then I'm gonna be taking the Dior highlighter. This is in the shade 100. The Dior Nude Air Luminizer bullshit wank, I don't know. So I'm just gonna take a shit ton of that on my brush and... Whoa. Now we try again. Oh yeah, that's better. What do we think, everyone? Nothing too special about it. I mean, I feel like Mary Luminizer by The Balm would even do a better job. Like it's definitely a gorge highlighter and it looks amazing, but the camera and the lights probably making it look so great right now, but it's honestly not that good in person. Like it's a nice, Highlighter, but I expected more from Dior. Now for my lips today, I'm just gonna be popping on Jeffree Star Cosmetics Mannequin. This is a absolute favorite. Okay, once Mannequin is on, I'm then just gonna be taking this lip gloss from Dose of Colors in Undress. It's like a nude. And I'm just gonna be putting this over the top. Now just to lighten up underneath my under eyes a little bit, I'm just gonna take the Garbo and Kelly Insta Girl Powder and Cream Contour Kit. And I'm just gonna be taking the banana shade out of that and just putting a little bit underneath my eyes just to brighten up that area a little bit more. Key, key, key. Now just to set everything in place, I'm just gonna be taking the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist and just doing a little bit of a spritz just to let everything set together and be absolutely stunning. And here we have the final and finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun filming it. And to be honest, I honestly feel like you're only paying for the name when you buy a high end pro some high-end products. Like, you know, but like $275 for a foundation is a little bit ridiculous. $370 for an eyeshadow palette that's a little bit chalky and a little bit cooked is... Mm, you get what I'm saying, right? <laughs> Anyway, I really hope you guys somewhat enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a massive thumbs up. I love you guys so much, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! See ya! Ew!